Hello there everyone and welcome back to Empire Total War with the American Civil War mod. So, I've taken a bit of a break from doing the Confederate Imperialist videos in which uh, up until this point I have done one for invading Canada and one for invading Mexico. So, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be uh, the Siege of Alamo and uh, to the best of my ability of doing that I realized there was uh, Mexican units in this mod that kinda looked like um, what would be present at uh, the Alamo, and yeah, well, I mean, it's the it's the best you're gonna get from this mod, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So without further ado, let's see if Santa Ana can take that fort. So let's go ahead and start this, shall we? Right. So here we have my Mexican army. I have a full stack. And within the fort, there's only five American units. However, the fort, as we will realize, is not going to be easy to take, even though I outnumber them with 15 more units. Um, so, you know what? Let's go ahead and start this, shall we? First things first, I'm going to move up the Mexican light infantry on the flanks while my artillery bombards the fortress. So, the thing why this is going to be so hard is because the uh, fort guns are very dangerous. For some reason, they don't fire round shot, they fire explosive shot. Um, and that is going to kill a lot of my infantry. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Spanish skirmishers. Not the Spanish, the Mexicans. So here we got the Mexican light infantry moving forward. So as you can see, this is not actually for the um, the Mexican rebellion campaign or what you want to call it, where the Alamo was part. This is from 1846 to 48. So when uh, the U.S. actually invades Mexico, I believe that war. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and see. Yes, we can actually go ahead and take a look at the Americans. So, I had to use, since I couldn't really find any Mexican, uh, Mexican American rebels, or Texan rebels, I should say, I uh, used uh, American troops. We have a few that kind of, kind of fits the part. Mississippi Volunteer Regiment. And I think there's another one somewhere. Uh, okay, most of them looks like United States infantry. Here's another, but yeah, it's more United States infantry units. So the light infantry is coming into position. They've got a really good range, these Mexican light infantry. So they're able to shoot at the fort from quite the distance um, to the point where I think uh, most of the American units, besides the, I think, the Voltageer unit, the riflemen, uh, they can't really fire back, which is going to be good because the enemy artillery is going to blast us to bits. At one point, I did try to blast a hole in it because it was so hard trying to... Oh, nice, we destroyed the cannons here. Oh, we... Shit, we destroyed all the cannons on this corner? Well, I know what corner I'm going to attack. So, a large part why this takes so long, or this siege is so hard to do, is because these cannons absolutely destroy anyone that tries to get close to this fort. But seeing as though we've been able to luckily destroy these three on the corner, this corner should be easier to actually climb up onto. So with the... oh yeah, I should say, um, I was trying at one point, trying to destroy uh, the the fort to the point where I could actually go in through a hole. Um, but I spent like half an hour having all four artillery pieces of 12 pound uh, uh, Napoleon guns just blasting the same corner um, for 30 minutes and I only got about halfway through so at around 50% mark. So breaking the wall is not gonna be uh, yeah it's not gonna be doable. So let's go ahead and advance. Okay, so I want you to actually go straight at it. So we're going to try to volley and then uh, charge up with the first wave. And then we'll have the rest 
of these Mexican uh, troops moving forwards. I'm gonna go ahead and take a closer look at the line infantry. I really like the line infantry. Oh yeah, I forgot my militia, which is gonna move into the dead ground over here and then attack the flank of the fort. So I really like... Okay, we're gonna hold fire for now while the infantry moves forward. So I really like the Mexican Light Infantry because they look so Napoleonic, as you can see. And you know, they, they did say that uh, Santana basically saw himself kind of as an American uh, Napoleon. He just shot one of our own guys there, unfortunately. So we'll dock this guy's pay because he was the one to actually fire the cannon. So that was a great. Um, let's see. One thing you will notice here is the Mexican troops, not all of them have shoes. But uh, this was very common during the period. You have a number of different campaigns, sort of, uh, during the 1800s, where uh, they had problems actually uh, providing shoes. And a number of... Uh, a number of nations during campaigns during this time period ran out of shoes. So it's not something that maybe uh, I know, or I think at least, Mexican nationalists will take up on, go like, why does all the Americans have shoes while the Mexicans don't? So it's actually a common issue and not, nothing so, not something that was done sort of to deliberate make Mexico look bad. Um, we're gonna advance them all the way up to the tenth, the first line. Uh, the bad part, of course, with marching up like I'm doing right now, is that a shot could bounce through the first line and then explode in the second one, taking with the uh, sort of killing more troops than necessary. But I think it looks nice when we have all the troops, and also there's a kind of a scare factor, I guess, to scaring the Texans into uh, surrender, submission maybe, I should say. So at this point they've even abandoned this part of the fort. And as you can see we've got... Did we get this cannon as well? Yes! So now this area is going to be the one where I'm going to bank on trying to actually get over the wall. On the other sides, not so much. Been able to bounce a shot through here. And at this point, the Americans open fire on us. We're gonna be uh, just within musket range to deliver the first volley. And uh, I think we'll actually deliver a few volleys before we try to charge the wall. Because I'm so confident right now, actually, that I will be able to move in on this flank right here. And I kind of want to give the Texans a little bit of a... Um, little bit of a handicap so we're gonna shit. we're gonna help them a little bit here so uh, troops lining up ready to volley the wall give the order captain okay so only a few fired before they decided we're gonna reform before actually firing there we go. So these volleys are probably not very effective against the walls. So before, are uh, they already shaken? I'm not entirely sure. If I send them forward at this point, they will probably just break. So we'll have the second line actually go ahead and do the. Uh, do the attack. For now, we'll just have them stand here, firing at the wall, trying to shoot down the Texan troops. And while we're having these guys occupied with that, I'm going to have the militia advance to the side wall. I should have put them on this side, of course, given that um, this part of the fort is so broken up. The, they really do aim for the center of the unit and trying to shoot down the captain. I guess he is gone at this point. He has been shot down. I can't see him, but he's here somewhere.
Surprising that they're still standing, I have had uh, much worse luck in previous battles uh, having my Mexican troops retreat rather quickly after taking casualties. But I guess uh, it really helps the fact that these cannons on this side is are broken up. This unit is suffering heavily though. It's already suffered 120 men. The Americans have suffered quite a bit as well. And we have taken out this cannon right here, which is nice. It's going to help the militia a lot as they approach. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like the, this fort has more guns than uh, normal in Empire. So uh, this Fusilier unit is retreating. And right now it's only this one that's standing. And we're going to prepare to advance the second line. And this one is the one that's going to try to climb the wall. I'm going to pull these guys back. And then we're going to reset them on this side. Since this one is going to make the charge on the wall. Don't worry, these guys are going to come back. Since it's going quite well, I'm going to actually advance uh, the, um, the light infantry to get into better positions. We're going to see if we can break these guys. Okay, you don't have to actually go all the way back. Let's see if you can switch now. Keep going, men! These Texans rebels will show them Mexican steel soon enough. Okay, so I guess the... Oh, if I look at the different officers, it seems they are different for the different units. So this guy's got a Sarko, while I think the other unit... He's got that sort of, uh, I'm not entirely sure what that hat is called, like that hat over there, like this guy. So the line infantry is a little bit different, I guess. So we're going to give them a volley, and then we're going to try to charge and climb the wall on this side. So these guys just gave them a volley. This guy is going to go up behind these. This unit has already almost lost as many as these guys. So charge forward and try to get that wall. We've got an American unit actually kind of giving up. And now the militia is in place. We'll see if the militia can storm the wall soon enough. I'm going to leave them here to fire at the wall first. But then we're going to try to storm the wall. Not a great position for these units. Would wish them that they would continue firing even when uh, they're sending forward the guys with the hooks. But then again, I did tell them not to fire at will, but it's not really how it works in Empire, is it? Si, sí, senor! They're climbing the wall! One of the problems with climbing the wall, which happened uh, uh, quite a bit in the last battle as well, is because my skirmishers are there on the angle, yeah, they they kind of shoot some of my men that's climbing up. And the unit, unfortunately, fell back. Um, you know what? Next line up. Next line up. And... Let's see if we can't attack again. But oh, the stupid Americans are actually climbing down. So we're gonna na make another attack and I'm gonna take one of the militia units and we're gonna climb this corner, which is unguarded. And then, uh, since we're climbing up at this point, I'm gonna tell the artillery to hold fire or actually concentrate on the center as we try to climb the walls here. So we've ended up in a melee fight on this side as the Americans decide to climb out of the fort. And I'm definitely not going to allow these Americans to escape. So I'm going to move these guys over here. And we're going to have Santa Ana move over to this side. So I'm going to chase down. I'm going to try to be historical accurate in not allowing 
any of the Americans to escape. So the Americans got really overconfident here and they suffered for it. As we can see, they're, uh, they've lost a unit of 143 men, which probably would have fought to the death had they stay within, stayed within the fort. And my troops over here have actually been able to do quite well. We've got another unit that is wavering over here. And some other that are tired and concerned. Also, I'm not entirely sure why the Americans are standing right there in the opening. What they try to achieve by that. I'm going to have this unit move out over here. And then they can fire from there. Ah. These guys retreated. We're going to be able to get them back on the line though. Send more Mexicans. Let's see, Santa Ana, I want you to come quickly around here and run down this unit. Oh, they have uh, now moved down. Davy Crockett and his uh, Mississippi Volunteers. These guys actually have like, I think 60 or 65 accuracy. And I put the general, I believe, in this unit. This is the closest I got to Gabe, David Crockett, but that's, uh, there he is actually. There's the general. And I believe, if I'm not entirely mistaken, by the uh, sort of records of the battle that David Crockett was found at sort of the gate or uh, something along those lines. Oh, we've actually got an uh, infantry unit that has climbed in. We'll see if we can get that one over here and open fire. We've got the militia now firing from this side of the wall in towards the defenders, which is nice. This one's going to be difficult to deal with, but hopefully my uh, troops will have no problem dealing with them. So Santa Ana is ready. Once these guys, they're moving really slowly and I imagine that the light infantry on their own could probably slaughter these guys. Let's see if we can make another attempt to this wall over here. And I'm gonna tell the artillery to hold fire. And what we're gonna do is this unit is gonna try for the middle. And this one's gonna climb over here. Right, okay, so I'm kinda back where uh, the crash occurred. A uh, little bit different this time around. So as we can see, the enemy general has actually moved out. He's been killed and his troop is retreating to the point where, well, my Mexican dragoons will take care of him. Um, and we're gonna go a little bit ma more balls to the walls in this one. Um, the enemy decides to uh, move out as they did kind of last time. And we're going to see about punishing them here with a really close-up volley. And hopefully we might be able to break these guys before they climb back into the wall. Um, let's go ahead and concentrate artillery fire in this area. And then with the gate kind of open for attack, I have been able to put some ropes there. I'm going to send the militia to take that area. Hopefully, yes, the, uh, this militia rallied, so we can send them in through the gate. Hopefully it doesn't crash this time around. Let's see. Right, there's no point in standing down here now. It's time to charge the walls. You can see quite a few troops actually kind of retreating at this point on the walls so uh, let's see if we can end this before it crash balls to the walls fellas let's make sure that Davy Crockett's troops does not escape and yeah it's just pound those bitches into oblivion the gate is ours which means that this unit can charge Straight in through the gate. So we got our troops inside. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to put some extra men on the wall. I'm, I'm trying to um, hook this wall here. We'll climb up there. It would be nice. 
And uh, we're going up the center, that'll be nice. I'm putting all the regiments up front, so we'll push as much musket fire onto the wall as possible. You see the militia is climbing over here. This one kind of have trouble open the gate, but there we go. Oh, they're broken! A mass, a mass route by the American units, which I'm kind of surprised to see. I thought they were going to fight to the very end, uh, since they were inside a fort, but I guess it doesn't really work that way. And boom! I won! It's just time to make sure that no Americaners manage to escape. So Santa Ana is here charging down these last three Mississippi Volunteer Regiment soldiers. They can get that last guy as well. There we go. So Santa Ana has done his job in securing victory for us here. Or securing victories. Chase down retreating troops. I don't know how uh, glorious that is. Send in the light infantry and then just everyone get into the fort. And start claiming that flag. Change that flag out, put a Mexican flag up and uh, make sure these Americans or these Texans know what's up. Okay, so Santa Ana actually has to be moved over to this side to chase down a few last Americans retreating this way. And I actually thought there was going to be a more bloody bayonet fight to the end here. Um, but uh, yeah, the Americans gave up on mass, which I wasn't expecting. Right, let's get inside. Well, not the skirmishers, actually. They can stay outside. Yeah, Santa Ana, you can't actually attack these guys for some reason. I guess the, not the entire unit has made it out. We'll make sure to chase down all of the enemy troops. And, uh, you know what? I don't think the battle statistic will be too bad for us, actually. It won't be too bad. Compared to what one might have thought uh, would have happened here. Do we line? Oh, this light infantry I managed to get a hold of. Okay, I'm probably not gonna actually gonna get, be able to get everyone. So a few Americans are gonna be able to escape. I think the only one from the historical record that survived was a single African American slave. Or maybe it was a freeman. But yeah, there we have it. And we've put the Mexican flag on top as well. So uh, let's just check the statistics and then uh, that'll be it. Right, and there we have the end of the battle. As we can see, the Mexicans deployed quite a lot more than the American defenders, almost 4 to 1. However, as we can also see, the Mexicans didn't actually suffer that many losses that one might have thought, given how uh, hard it was for us to advance on the fort and how many times my troops retreated from the walls. We only lost 800 men, roughly, while the enemy force lost most of everything with only about, what, um, 35 men being able to get away from there? And uh, when we take a look at who's the highest killers, then, uh, well, the Mexican Dragoons end up pretty high because they chase down a lot. But then Mexican militia, but that's also, I believe, killing people who actually ran away. Uh, so the ones that probably did the most is the skirmishers and the cannons which actually fought against uh, troops that were firing back. 
Um, then we have one line infantry unit. Uh, let's see, where was he? There. That actually got a few. Lost a hundred, managed to get 44 of the enemy. So, most of the enemy was actually defeated by uh, the, um, the cannons and the skirmishers. And the fact, well, I guess the militia has some part to play in this, since the militia was actually the ones that charged, um, what's it called? Um, the sharpshooter, Bill Thor, what's it called? Billy Bob. Billy Bob Thornton plays him in the movie. Um, he wasn't actually the general, though. Uh, at the or the commander, anyways, he's uh, the the one I remember. Uh, there we have it. Mexico was able to take this fort. I mean, it would have been nice if I would be able to play this against a human player, um, and maybe even you know add on and maybe a third player just to put as many Mexican troops as possible to get this sort of typical last stand carnage equal to say wrong strift or something like that something really cool lots of gunfire and so forth uh, but this is what I made out of it so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye Retreat!